Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. I will be with Oshomole if he keeps disturbing us in Edo State. Godwin Obaseki says, Godwin Obaseki, Edo State Governor, has vowed to deal with Adams Oshomole, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress Party, if he keeps disrupting activities of Edo APC. Oshimole was instrumental to the emergence of Obaseki, but the door fell out, but he fell out with the governor shortly before he declared his re-election bid. The misunderstanding reached its height last year when the Edo House of Assembly was divided along their loyalists. Lawmakers loyal to the governor had taken out of office secretly leaving out their colleagues in the camp of Ushimole. Stakeholders in the APC did not succeed in their bid to reconcile the governor and his estranged benefactor. Speaking at a meeting of chairman of the APC in the 18 local government areas in Edo, Obaseki said he is prepared to show Ushimole that he is the governor of the state. He also directed the party chairman to deal with any person or group carrying out activities that are not in the interest of the state chapter of the APC. He is not a party man. Look at the dump. He kept the party as a sectariat. With all the resources we had, he could not support the party until the landlord evicted us. You are governor or chairman based on the platform that elevated you. That is why I looked for one of the most beautiful buildings along Airport Road and said, this is the sectariat of the party, he said. All this nonsense they are doing, if anyone or anybody in the name of our party tries to do anything contrary to what we have agreed as a party, we will deal with that person ruthlessly no matter who he is. If you are elected a chairman, your attitude should show if you believe in the party. Party supremacy means the leadership of the party must respect the membership. It is the members that make the party supreme because the members subscribe to a constitution which governs the conduct of the party. One man cannot be the party. I am the governor of Edo State, and I so authorize it. If anyone comes to your word or local government to do things outside what the party has agreed, I hereby authorize you to deal with that person seriously. We are warning the suspended national chairman. If he continues his activities in Edo State, I will show him that I am the governor of Edo State. While he was governor, he did not tolerate a fraction of the misdemeanor and misbehavior he is undertaking today. I have declared that if Oshomole comes here to Edo to say he wants to disrupt the activities of the state and the party, we will deal with him the way we know how best to do it. Obaseki said Oshimola remains suspended and he would be expelled if he does not retrace his steps. Comrade Oshimola stands suspended from the party. In due course, we will expel him if he does not behave. The party does not belong to him. It belongs to all of us. 
We are following the wish of our people, he said. Our next step is to make sure we convince more people to join our party so that all of us can move the state to the next level. I will give you all the support to strengthen the party at the local government. Monthly meetings must hold. Monthly world meetings must hold. Attendance must be taken. Wherever there are issues, you sit down and discuss it, says Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Edo State. All right, viewers and listeners, you've heard the news story and um, the crisis that has uh, bewildered the APC in Edo State seems to be deepening as it is. Efforts to reconcile the governor of Edo State and the, the national chairman, um, Adam Sushomale, seems to have proved ab abortive. And uh, the way things are looking at the moment, the crisis seems to have worsened. Now, the governorship uh, election of Edo State is somewhat around the corner. How do they tend to resolve these issues? If at this point they are still having this crisis of dealing with each other, one would only wonder, and the question that readily comes to heart is, what do they stand to achieve? There are now factions of APC in Edo State. The faction of the national chairman, Adam Sushimole, and the faction of the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. Who would win? eventually. Now, from what the governor has said, Adam Sushomole stands suspended. Now, from the structure of politics, or in the, you know, politics is said to be uh, local, and you have to start from your ward, from your ward, you know, to the local government, from local government to the state, as the case may be. So, um, if Adam Sushomole has been allegedly suspended, you know, probably at the world local government and state level. What happens to him at the national level? Is he supposed to be operating at the national level when he has been suspended at the state level? These are issues that are conflicting and we are not clear as to how these issues are going to be resolved. But what really is glaring to everyone is that the crisis that has hit the APC in Edo State has worsened. You know, at some point, they were not admitting that there were, were crises. But as it is, it is so glaring to everybody, even to a, a blind man, that Governor Obaseki and Adam Sushomole are not in good terms. There has been some, some attacks as against, uh, against each other in the state but at this point in time one does not seem to understand where this crisis is heading to and how it probably would end so what are the situation of things at the national level where Adam Sushomole is still the national chairman how do they tend to go about this the governorship election is around the corner who will be the candidate of the APC Godwin, uh, Godwin Obaseki definitely would be seeking to be re-elected. The national chairman, Adam Sushomale, who has this interest and would not want that to happen. Now, will there be a uh, secret voting for the candidate to emerge or how do they intend to go about this issue? It is unfortunate that uh, the APC is having to go through this kind of crisis at this point in time. If they cannot put their house in order and resolve issues now that the election is closed, when are they going to put these differences behind them and focus on the future? Don't forget that the former opposition uh, uh, governorship candidate Ize Yamu has become to the APC. Will he be the preferred candidate of Adam Sushomole or how Will Godwin Obaseki get the ticket? Will they go to court? 
will Gordon Obaseki finally defect to another party to be able to secure the ticket to recontest as governor of Edo State? Now that he has said that he would show uh, Adam Sushomale that he's the governor and he will deal with him if Adam Sushomale tries to disrupt activities, it has gotten to the level of where they are threatening themselves. Will this issue be resolved? How do they intend to resolve this issue? Who can resolve this issue or who can help resolve these issues? This crisis shouldn't last this long. Is it a do or die affair? What do they stand to gain? At whose expense? One will continue to wonder and questions will continue to be asked. Well, these are my opinions and my views on this particular matter. But one thing is certain and which we already know that politics in this country, you know, politicians rather, you know, they could be enemies openly or could be friends secretly. They could be friends openly and could be enemies secretly. These are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story. Dear viewers and listeners, I would like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Do not forget to share this news story with friends, family, relations all over the world so that they can know what is happening. And I would like to crave your indulgence to so please subscribe to this channel for more news and information that will enlighten and educate you. If you are yet to subscribe, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever a new story is posted, you would get a notification. And for those of you that have actually subscribed, thank you. We appreciate you. Please hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever a new story is posted. Have a wonderful time and I wish you happy listening. Thank you. And God bless you.